That is why I don't like flexes. I don't know how that's never leaked. It's really wet down here as well, so I'm guessing whatever they've done here was a bodge. This job is investigate drain smell. It absolutely stinks in here. When they had the drains jetted, all water came up through here, so I'm guessing there's a waste pipe drops from that sink unit across there, and I'm guessing there's no bung. So what I'll do is whip that boxing off and have a look at that waste pipe. It, the floor's all soaked down here because they had the drains, as I say, jetted. And it all came back up, and it absolutely, it's been stinking in here for a while, apparently. So whip that off and have a look at what's going on. Just a little tip, always run your Stanley knife around. Just to try and break the seal, I'm not saying we're going to get it off in one piece. Obviously you want to do as little damage as possible. And it proper stinks, so something's leaking. That been white stinking look, there's absolutely no bung on it look. How am I going to get a bung on there without removing all the box in? Oh, nightmare job. What I'll have to do is cut this boxing out, get a rubber bung in that drain and then halt that waste pipe, it's push fit as well isn't it? I don't carry a lot of push fit, I'll have to take that bit off, multi-tool it and halt this box in. That's all I can do. Out of the way. No wonder it stinks, innit? And it does stink and all. And no wonder it flooded over when they did the drain. I just hope I've got a bit of push fit waste pipe or converted solvent. We'll have a look. We'll get it, we'll get some access first. Do a bit of wood butchering. Take this bit off and then we see if we can sort that angle out and get it more in the middle. Good thing we push fit. Oh, look at the stain of that. They did cut it at a chamfer, that should just push in. Sometimes you need a little bit of grease on these, but most of the time they will just push in. The heating pipes are in the way a little bit, aren't they? <laughs> Give it a tap. world's messiest fan but I do have a drain bomb. These are inch and a half to inch and a quarter. Looks a little bit of a mess but it is brand new. All my drain stuff is generally over here. So I've got offset pan connector, bent pan connector, flexi pan connector, there's some bungs and bits like that in there and they're all underground water fittings like adapters and everything in there but yeah that's what I want. Hopefully I can just push that straight in and then that waste pipe will push straight into it and that's that job done then. It's tight. I 
a little bit of grease on there probably won't hurt. I think it's okay. <coughs> Can't get it down anymore. I think it's just a tight one. The only thing you've got to watch with these, when you push your, your waste pipe through, it doesn't push the middle out. If anything, if anything that wants a 90 and a bit of pipe, I'll see if I've got some. It's just going to be short, isn't it? That bung's definitely in though. You can see all the seal has gone all the way around, which will get a good seal on that drain. I'll see if I've got a bit of push of it. I don't actually carry... Oh, I can actually use... Worst case scenario is the bit of pipe that goes in because it doesn't need to go that far through. So if I've just got a push fit 90, I can use some of that pipe. What I'm going to do... I'm going to do something a little bit naughty, but I ain't got any push fit waste pipe in the van. So... This pipe will be fine. It just I just need a longer piece to go in between. So just use the ox cutter. dark that one into there like that that one into there like that and then that one into there like that and that will do us if you give that a go you can see that rubber bong has virtually gone all the way in I don't think that I don't think you'll get any smells through that it's just a tight it's just a tight drain that one yeah, that should be fine. We'll give that a go and we should be on our way. We'll just get some water down the drain, make sure it's all right. Should be absolutely fine. I know some people grease the, uh, the O-rings up on them push fits, but I don't, I don't use an awful lot of push fit to be fair. I carry the odd fitting in the van. But yeah, we'll make sure there's no leaks on any of them and we should be on the way. Ended up changing that 45 degree bend as well. I think there was a slight drip on it. Best way to tell is just put piece of dry paper towel underneath and just let your sink go I know my hands are wet there but yeah always check everything because you don't want to call back well you're here you know just spend a couple of minutes that is why I don't like flexes I don't know how that's never leaked but this is all being ripped out anyway but look at the state of that one that's that's as close to a flood as you'll see today I think look at it it's probably been kinked and the rubbish just come through look but yeah, we're just ripping all these toilets out. We're forming separate cubicles along. So there's new doors going in. There was two toilets in the urinal and there's new toilet cubicles going in. But I'll explain a little bit more as we go along. Just in case of getting everything ripped out. I'm dead lucky on this one because I've got lever valves up there that isolate the hot and the cold. Not got a lever valve on that one, but I just have to knock water off. And all the heating is two and a half. Well, I think they're heating pipes. It's like two and a half inch. Although that is galve, I'll be surprised if that is heating. But yeah, I'll have a look at that, but I'm dead lucky as well because on the other side of that, somebody's took it to copper and there's two lever valves on the other side of the wall. So that radiator just comes off. And as I say, all these are being ripped out and that's what we're sort of doing. But yeah, worst bit is gonna be getting all this floor chopped up to get a new drain out. But yeah, I'll explain as we go along a little bit. I'm loving the cable type pipe clips as well. Look at that, it's obviously been bust off. To be honest, all these toilets were trashed. The systems were all broke on them. They'd just been stuck back together, so it was a right mess. I know I've smashed them out even more, but you should have seen it before. Obviously, it's not been looked after the best, I don't think. But we'll get it all sorted, it'll look beautiful. We've got new trespass panels going along this back with toilets going in here. Uh, obviously, new cubicles or new walls, and then we've just got ba individual basins in each of the units. So yeah, it should be a lot better. Absolutely love my boy walkie when doing it like this. Saves me no end of time. That's got all them ripped out. I'm gonna say, this is what happens with flexes. The problem is they spin the taps and then crushes the flexi and then they burst. But yeah, I don't like them. Some jobs are all right, but some jobs they're not. I've got all the floor out and just getting the rads took off. Get that straight down that drain if we can. Perfect. Uh, it's valved off on the other side as I've already said, so the vinyl actually came up really well. Just makes a change. So yeah, we got lucky on this one. That should be fine. 
should be fine. <laughs> Top and bottom, opposite ends, it'll breathe in. Beautiful, that. Beautiful. I know what you'll all be saying as well. That lagging's asbestos. It's all been checked, it's all been tested, and it's not asbestos. It's just the real horrible old stuff, but there's no asbestos in there. What we've got is that coal pipe there drops that used to feed the urinal and the toilets years ago that possibly would have been tank fed. Um, but now everything in the schools is main. So what I'll do is end up putting a valve above the new suspended ceiling and moving that across into the stored wall. Because I don't want to cap it all the way back, we'll just use that to say feed the basins and then we'll use that hot and cold, we've already got lever valves on, um, to feed the toilets, the toilets and the hot tap on the basins. Everything's being blended, um, blending down. What we've got is they'll have to chop all this floor up along this backside. Um, we'll end up with a stub, sub stack over there and then we've got four separate toilets going along the back wall um, with the individual doors coming off the corridor. Because I think before they were just destroying the, uh, destroying the facilities. Um, so yeah, they'll be, they'll be done away with, we'll have to dig down, find them drains down there, connect that in, sort all the hot and colds out, drop them in the stud wall, and then we've got individual basins in the, in the cubicles, if that makes sense. No radiators, um, yeah, it's as per specifications, that, that should be fine. But yeah, always be, be mindful of asbestos. Um, we, we are on some jobs at the minute where there is asbestos present, obviously they have to go in, give us a clean air certificate before we can even go in the building. They have, they have it all removed, but yeah, that'll be fine. Um, so yeah, I've got lucky on this one really with everything being valved off, bar, bar that one. But what we'll do is pop a lever valve on that and then we can work on it to our heart's content. I'm really having them two valves there because I wouldn't want it to drain this whole building. What they've probably done is come off the heating. You could just about see the tops of the main lines, I think. And then drop these back down in copper to pick up this radiator and the one on the other side. So all I'll do is cap them off under that unit probably uh, and then if they ever want that picking back up they've always got the pipes there right so that's got the room all stripped out um got it back down to the bare bones we've got all the ceiling down everything stripped out the next job is going to be to have a look at the drains always set the drains out first now on the drawing it shows this floor being broken up here and the drain being picked up off them two and just one pipe effectively feeding all the toilets i don't think that's a very good idea i think a, there's two reasons for that. Them to we've ran the sinks on the other side, you can hear it in them drains. So we can't just elbow it there because them drains, in theory, feed, feed further back, if that makes sense. So what we need to do, I think, if we break the floor up here, find out if there's a four inch pipe going along there, we might be able to bring it up in the middle and go both ways. Use a four way T, put an air admittance in the middle and feed that set, that set, that set, and that set. What we've got as long here is four toilets and four individual rooms now. Uh, and then the basin, the basin ways will just run in the stud wall and then into the into the main four inch. I think that'll be better. We won't really know until we get the floor chopped up. Obviously, first job is always going to be to get stripped out, and then the second job is always to get your get your drain set up. We've got to demolish this whole wall as well. Uh, so I'll probably muck in and give the lads a hand. It's all solid. Uh, it's not structural, but yeah, we'll get all that out, and then obviously they'll form the new openings in stud work. There is a steel that goes there, so the edge of the door. Obviously, we can't take that steel out because it's holding the, you know, the actual roof up. Uh, so yeah, that that door goes from like there to there. So I guess they'll have to bolt the frame of that onto that steel. But yeah, all this lot, all that lot needs taken out. So while they're while they're taking that wall out, I'll probably give them a hand to bar it because it's miles to go to the skip. I can be breaking this floor up as well. Sometimes you just got to muck in and give the lads a hand. Obviously, you all you all you all sort of help each other out, which is good. Good sort of work in a team sometimes, let's right? so, say. I'll be up, I'll probably be on the barra and uh, they'll be knocking it down. Right, so I'm just breaking some of this floor up. It's not actually four inch over there. They've ran inch and a half push fit across and this is where it drops down. So I'm gonna break this area up and see what we've got. It's really wet down here as well. So I'm guessing whatever they've done here was a bodge. Looking at the amount of silicon and that around it and look how wet the floor is. Yeah, it's obviously been leaking. We'll have a look, we'll get all this broken up and we'll have a look exactly what it is. We've got another one who didn't like using the proper bungs a lot. Just a bit of silicon. At least it's better than the last one. At least it adds some sort of seal. Right, this here goes into a back inlet gully. What I'm going to do is break that gully out 
because obviously you can see it's trapped down there. We don't want that trapped on the soils. Um, it's fine for basins. Years ago, they used to put them into back in electrical leads and you probably wouldn't have had traps actually on the sink unit. I imagine the sink unit used to sit under this window. So what we'll end up doing is putting that, that there quite low down and then I'll pick this toilet here up, that one there where that tea is and then we'll just run round and pick them up. We should get a good fall all the way across. That's how the architect's drawn it anyway. And what we'll do is we'll put a rodding point, rodding point on top of here vent that end and we'll make sure you can rod all the way back back through but yeah that's how they've drawn it so i'll get this i'll get this broken out and we'll have a look at how we're going to connect onto that they just ran push fit just under the screen it's probably wasn't the best but it probably would have worked i was hoping it was going to be four inch over there because then i could have split it off but yeah that's how that's how it's done on the drawing anyway so we'll get this broken out and have a look at it I went a bit crazy with the drill there. We should be all right. I don't think anything's gone down the pipe. I've bagged off the actual gully, but if I can get that out of that socket, then I can bring that forward, bit of pipe, a couple of 45s maybe, and then into that, into that T, which will get me low enough, which will be perfect. That's got that all broke out. What I'm going to do now is bring a couple of 45s up. See, that socket will be perfect. It's not damaged at all. I will clean that out. But what I'll do is bring a couple of 45s up and then that T, wherever I put it, get that as low as I can. And that'll be perfect for me. That's just silicon uh, lubricant spray. It's the poly pipe one, so it should be all right. And that will just push in. One-handed. In fact, I can't even do it one-handed, but you get the idea. That's got that set as low as I can, so that'll be fine. As I say, I'll end up putting probably a boss on there, and then even a rod in height. We'll be able to rod from that side. Okay. Really noisy because they're knocking that wall out. Yeah, we'll be all right. I'm happy with that. Right, so I've just been and marked all the centre of the pans on the wall. Obviously, we'll be able to get a good fall all the way across. We don't want too much fall, but just enough. Obviously, this wall here gets built all the way out, and then that one only comes 200 mil out, so I'll be able to clip on the wall. It's dinner time. They've obviously stopped making a noise. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, I'll get this whipped in quickly. What I'll end up doing is put in... Let's put that torch down. I'll end up with short bar socket on there to pick my waist up, so... I'll probably run inch and a half that way because it's over 3.2 meters. Inch and a half, pick that basin up over there. There'll be one in that stud wall there for that toilet. And then I'll put another set of short bar sockets in the middle over here. Where's that wall? There's that wall. So somewhere this side, I won't put it actually in the wall because it'll make it awkward for the joiner. I'll bring it across. So that's that, that one pan there, one pan there. I use a couple of 45s and then I'll put a Durgo up that corner there as per the drawing. So yeah, that's gone all right really. Could have gone a lot worse. And what I'll do is also make sure that that runs into the manhole outside. Um, at the minute, we can't get out of that door because it's locked, so I need to find a key for that. But yeah, I'm sure it will. It's all foul drainage, so be absolutely no problem on that. Um, so yeah, once once I've got this in, there's not going to be so much more I can do till all the walls and that go up, and then we can run all the copper lines in, run all the new copper surfaces in the stud walls, and then bring them out for the basins, and obviously get the cisterns and everything piped up. But yeah, that should be fine. Worst bit of the job, really, sorting all the drainage out. And what I'll do this afternoon, I'll get this running while they're having their dinner, and then I'll give them a hand to get all the uh, all that wall took out. And then they're obviously going to form the new doorways through. But yeah, that'll be fine. Right, that's got that soil pipe all ran in. You can see I've got a perfect fall across there, all the way back. That'll be absolutely fine. I've done these before like that, never had an issue. Uh, it's no different to if you were to run it under the ground and tee it in and have the fall, it's just the falls above the ground. So, we just got to have a good tidy up here now, and that's probably going to be the end of the day. So that's a really good, really good start. As you can see, this is all, that's all clipped, absolutely solid. You could walk on that if you wanted. So, waste pipes will bot into there. I'll just, I'll just put a two inch tee and then bring inch and a half into the walls, which will be perfect. The only thing I'm missing is a short bar socket for there, and we do the same thing with there, and then we'll put a cleaning eye. Yeah, yeah other than that, probably going to end the video there just because we've got a lot of tidying up to do. So, as always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike, and we'll catch you all next time. I don't know what to make of this spray, really. It's probably not as good as the grease, but it's all they have. So, I'll just put plenty in there. And on these, 
that just pushes in. You can feel to make sure it's gone all the way through. One thing with poly pipe, they are good fittings to be fair, the rubbers very rarely push out. So I'll use a glued one on there, I think, swing that around. And then into the other 45 across there. Plenty of glue on these as well. Four inch door pipe will feed. I can't remember how many toilets, it, toilets it'll feed, but it'll feed a lot. You know, you're talking probably 16, 18 toilets. I know when I did my level three years ago at college, you sort of calculate all soil pipes. You don't have to step up to for six inch until you get to like stagings and stuff like that. Until you've got loads. So four inch will easily do four toilets. In, I mean, in theory, three inch will probably do four toilets, but three inch is not a very common size. Of soil pipe, so four inch. Just get this piece across there. We've got a maximum height of the other end of seven and a quarter. Obviously, that's that's the maximum we can be to the centre of the last pan, but we should be fine on this one. I've got a tape measure on me. Oh, so that'll be about six. So yeah, that gives us an inch across there, which will be fine. That looks perfect. Right, that's got that soil pipe all ran in. You can see I've got a perfect fall across there all the way back. That'll be absolutely fine. I've done these before like that, never had an issue. Uh, it's no different to if you were to run it under the ground and tee it in and have the fall. It's just the falls above the ground. So we've just got to have a good tidy up here now. Uh, that's probably going to be the end of the day. So that's a really good. Really good start. As you can see, this is all that's all clipped absolutely solid. You could walk on that if you wanted. So, waste pipes will boss into there. I just, I'll just put a two inch T and then bring inch and a half into the walls, which will be perfect. The only thing I'm missing is a short bar socket for there, and we we'll do the same thing with there, and then we'll put a cleaning eye. Yeah, yeah other than that. Probably going to end the video there just because we've got a lot tidying up to do. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike and we'll catch you all next time.